All right, we are back to the money on a Monday. And today is a very important conversation to be had. So radio's up. We've got our financial expert, Janai Thornton, on the line. We're talking about estate planning. And do you have a will or, or don't you? And I think this is an important combo because the other day I got an email saying I should make sure I have a beneficiary for my 401k plan. And I thought I already did. And then I went to it and I realized there was no beneficiary on there. Oh. So I went through the process and did it. Then I realized I learned that at banks, you know, you need you should be you should have a POD, a payable upon death. I'd never filled out that. And I had significant amounts in, in all these accounts. And literally, like if I died tomorrow, they would kind of be in limbo. And, and we also have seen on black enterprise that 70 percent of black people have no will or estate planning. So very important conversation here. Janai Thornton, welcome. And let's talk about the importance of a will, who needs it exactly. And, and just some of these PODs that you should be thinking about. Well, hey, good morning, morning. Andy. I'm so happy that you brought this up because people don't understand. People a lot of times just think a will is about making sure the people that you love are getting money that you have. But there's some other really important decisions that need to be made, everything from your dependents, who's going to be in charge if something happens, you know, with your kids if something happens to you, Who's going to be in charge of your affairs, period? You know, there's major decisions that have to be made. And then, of course, your assets. But a will really is about order, having order during a really, really, really tough time. We don't need the stress. We want to make sure we have order. Wow. Now, let's just say if Angie didn't get, like, a will in order. Like, if God mm-hmm. forbid, if anything happened to Angie, like, would everything have gone to Charlie? Like, would the courts just <laughs> gave it to her dog? Like, how does it work if you don't set up a will? What do the courts do in those cases? Or one of her closest radio friends. Like <laughs> I know, right? Right. I'll collect. <laughs> Listen, so when you die without a will, um, the legal term for that is called intestate. And what that literally means is the court is going to make the decisions. Mm. And so each state has different rules based on relationship so whether it's going to be to your parents or split amongst your siblings but they literally have a hierarchy so even if you don't want or you don't think a certain relative is capable of um, inheriting the money that's not the person that you want to receive it the court doesn't care about that they're going to literally just go through the protocol and make those decisions. And that even relates to your dependents as well. The court is just going to make those decisions. So if you don't want, like they say, other folks in your business, you're going to have to make those decisions and get a will in place. Now, if, oh, I was going to ask, um, most people think that uh, a will is important. Why is it important to have power of attorney and health care power of attorney as well? Uh, you know, it's interesting about that. I think these are the documents that people always forget about. So the health care power of attorney means I've made some medical decisions for myself just in case I can't make them. You know, maybe I'm too sick to do that. Mm-hmm. And then I've also appointed the people, if I am too sick to make decisions, this is the person or people that I want to make these decisions on my behalf. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with COVID going on, think about how important that is right now. And then the power of attorney is saying, hey, I haven't passed away, but I am too sick to take care of my own affairs, my business. Who do I entrust? Who do I want to be in charge in case something happens to me and someone needs to pay my my bills, you know, handle my affairs. Who is that trusted person that I want to give that responsibility to? Yep, we've got our financial expert, Janai Thornton, on the line. Now, let's talk a little bit about when you talk wills and stuff, you got to think, okay, who's supposed to prepare it? Of course, a lot of times we think, I need an, a, an attorney. But some people either can't afford it or they feel like they don't want to do it or they want to do it themselves. And there are websites out there that you can check out. Let's talk about those websites. And what's the process of, of getting an attorney? If, if Is that the better route or does it even matter now? Well, you know, it to me really depends upon your situation, if you need an attorney or not. But let's say, you know, your life is simple. No dependents, your assets are under $250,000. I think you can definitely look at one of the options where you can create your own will. And you can go to places like LegalZoom, Quicken, Willmaker, and then there's another company called Mama Bear Forms. Those are some um, good places to start with. And then if you're going to look for an attorney, my suggestion is this, you know, attorneys are like doctors. They really specialize. You need an estate attorney, someone who really specializes in this. Um, You don't want someone who's, you know, doing practicing, doing criminal cases, and then just kind of jumping over here, preparing (laughs) your will. It it does not work that way. 
So again, look, <laughs> ask for recommendations. But again, it's very state specific. You have to get the documents drafted in the state that you actually reside in. Mm-hmm. All right, now, Janai, like typically, death is sudden. No one really knows when it's going to hit them in most cases. Where right. should you keep your will once you get that mm-hmm. established? You know, there is nothing more frustrating, head crack, than when someone passes away or someone is sick and no one can find anything. Mm. So it's really important that if you have a will, your executor, that's the person, your executor or executrix, that's the person that's in charge if you pass away. They have to know, is it in a filing cabinet? Is it in your safe? How do they get their hands on it? Maybe they even need to have a copy of it. Now, if you have an estate attorney, it's important that obviously they keep a copy of the will, but the people who are in charge know how to get in touch with that attorney Mm. so that way they can pick up the ball right away and start moving. Mm. Simple enough. Well, Janai Thornton, always a wealth of information. Thank you so much for pulling up, as always. And if people want to tap in, man, and find out what you're doing on a daily, where do they go? Um, Please, you can always follow me at Janai Thornton. That's J-I-N-I-T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N. And if you want to join my free money community, please go to thankmelater.money. There it is, man. One time, y'all, for Janai Thornton. It's five minutes from the top of the hour. Trending Topics is on deck. What are we talking about? More COVID, huh? (laughs) You better believe it. Oh, man. (laughs) Kicking your day off the right way with Headcrack, Angie Ann, L'Oreal, Hustle, The Morning Hustle. We are The Morning Hustle.